Welcome to this series of tutorials around waveforming, Trinoff's new exclusive technology that redefines how we reproduce bass and treat room modes. In the world of high-performance home theater, low-frequency reproduction has been the most complicated issue to solve. This is due to the nature of how low-frequency bass waves radiate in residential rooms. The challenge is particularly difficult because of room modes, which cause specific frequencies to resonate or cancel each other out dramatically changing the sound at different points in the room. It is not uncommon for a sound heard at one seat to sound up to eight times louder or quieter at another seat. In technical terms, this is a variance of up to 30 decibels, enough to make an experience unpleasant or underwhelming. To overcome these issues, Trinov has developed waveforming, a revolutionary technology that overcomes these challenges. Born from seven years of research by our experts in acoustics and signal processing, Waveforming is a highly complex software algorithm that utilizes multiple source, multiple controller technology. In layman's terms, waveforming utilizes multiple subwoofers in the front of the room which act as emitters and multiple subs in the back to act as absorbers. When the subwoofers emit sound, the front ones steer the sound wave towards the listeners and away from the walls, floor, and ceiling. The rear subs then absorb the bass wave with a precisely timed and shaped impulse. By first shaping the wavefront and then cleanly absorbing it, waveforming can eliminate room modes. Importantly, this also produces highly precise seat-to-seat -seat consistency with variation as low as one to two decibels across all theater seats. This far exceeds Cedia's RP22 guidelines, which only require this performance at the reference level and one adjacent seat. Look at the graphs on the altitude software. You can see the substantial difference between the before and after measurements. In the before, you can see at different frequencies how many variations there are among all the measurement points. Looking at the after, you can see that the mean spatial deviation becomes very tight. But what does this mean? The graph is a heat map that shows frequency and time along with sound pressure level. The darkest red means the highest pressure, with blue meaning no pressure. The before graph shows how long the sound bounces around the room and the unevenness of the bass response. The after graph shows how much tighter and linear the bass is compared to before. The graphs show as if the room had disappeared. The bass is now uniform and acts as a quick pressure wave. Most importantly, it no longer interferes with other frequencies. Detail comes alive not only in the bass but across the entire audio spectrum. The graphs can also show the seat-to-seat -seat consistency using the RP22 metric, showing the variation before and after waveforming is implemented. Waveforming gives users a great deal of flexibility. There are three levels of performance available. Planar, best, cylindrical, better, and conventional, which is still excellent. At its most basic, waveforming can be implemented with as few as four subwoofers, two in the front and two in the rear. For each level, multiple options are available for fine-tuning to personal preference. In simplified terms, waveforming allows you to adjust both decay time and the degree of low frequency control. You can choose based on your taste, how reverberant the bass should be. You can even create multiple presets, each with different settings based on the content itself. Finally, waveforming offers pressurization mode, which can extend response to infrasonic bass frequencies. This enables all subwoofers, front and back, to act as emitters below the first room mode frequency. Ultimately, Trinov's algorithm, exclusive to the Altitude platform, creates the world's most controlled, dynamic, yet precise bass experience in small rooms. The process of implementing waveforming is straightforward and typically takes from one to two hours at most. To view our design guidelines and use the subwoofer's placement and measurement tools, please visit trinov.com waveforming. For further assistance, please write to us at waveforming at trinov.com.